Hello everyone and welcome to Semester FPGA News. This week, we will be talking about a new FPGA console based on the never released Sega Neptune, a new Mr. Remote app, a new arcade core being released, and more. Also, check out my channel sponsor, Mr. Add-ons, a place where you can find all your Mr. needs. Things like full Mr. setups, IO boards, accessories, and more. Now let's get to the news. A Brazilian company called Gamescare announced the GF1 Neptune, an FPGA recreation of what would have been the Sega Neptune. That means it's a console that combines both the Sega Genesis and 32X devices, instead of having the Genesis with the 32X attached to it. This console called the GF1 Neptune will feature an SD slot, wireless internet, and an online store that will offer new and exclusive games. It will even have an expansion port for Sega CD compatibility. It's not surprising that a Brazilian company would attempt this. The Mega Drive was and still is very popular in Brazil. A full reveal is scheduled for June 30th at a large gaming festival taking place in Sao Paulo, Brazil. The reveal will also include the premiere of a new game. Here's a cool little tidbit. A recently released animated sci-fi film special features section of the Blu-ray shows the Amiga Core running on an FPGA. The Mr. FPGA to be exact. The movie is called Mars Express, which is distributed by G-Kids Films. This is not surprising to me as they've featured the Mr. FPGA before on their Instagram and TikTok accounts. Another remote app for the Mr. FPGA is available for download. It's called RemoteCon and it supports search, importing and customizing metadata, setting favorites, browsing by title, browsing by artwork, and launching games via QR codes. The app is open source and available for Android phones. Check out the GitHub for the app download. Core developer Raki has released a beta of the arcade game Super Locomotive, a game by Sega where the goal is to guide a train from one location to the next while avoiding obstacles. Mr. Walrus posted the next game in the Mr. FPGA Discord game challenge. It is the homebrew game Fixit Felix Jr based on the arcade game feature in the movie Wreck-It Ralph. Challenge goes on until July 4th. The DE10 Nano alternative was shown off installed on a Mr. Setup from Retro Castle. This shows that it can work with 5 volt I.O. boots, but you still need to be aware not to send 12 volts to the board. A cable will be included that will let you send 5 volts though. A side panel on the Retro Castle case did need to be cut to make the case fully compatible, as you can see from this image. Regarding the AMOLED Mr. FPGA handheld, two designs were handed off for 3D modeling. The differences between the two designs are the grips, appearance, and shoulder buttons. The face controls are the same. It is said that the screen size is challenging to design for a landscape handheld. So the design looks to be more like a Game Boy Advance instead of a Game Boy Pocket. The landscape design does allow for much more comfortable shoulder buttons. For the cartridge consoles, there are now two distinct designs. They were not shown, but I like that there will be different designs. Regarding the handheld, someone asked if it will have a sleep mode, and it's been confirmed that it will. So that's it for this episode. I provided links to all my sources in the description. Make sure to also check out RetroRGB.com to see my Mr. News videos in blog form and to get more retro-related content. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and this bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.